Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Wednesday, March the 7th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. This is the email you can use to uh, ask me any questions you may have. This is a link to get into our free room. You don't have to be a member of Trade Ideas to come into our room. This is a subscription link, 15% uh, instant savings with the promo code that is there. I open the room at about 9 o'clock Eastern Time, so when I start to share my screen, and I get live on the mic at about 9.05. I go to uh, 3.30 Mondays to Thursdays and 3 o'clock on Fridays. All right. Wow. Another <laughs> great, great day in the room. And we're off to a rocky start here. I have something open, not allowing me to. Just a second here. There we go. <laughs> ah, there. Just a second. I had something open on my trade ideas, uh, so I couldn't move this over. Anyway, um, I don't want to show you this one first. I want to show you a clear side. Uh, clear side, clear side. So why was I interested in clear side? Well, of course, clear side yesterday had such a phenomenal day, another phenomenal day. Take a look at the daily on it. It has been ripping. So this is this is yesterday's uh, candle. Uh, a lot of us were in this trade yesterday. I mean, look for, look from where it has come in four days, 697 all the way up to like basically almost uh, well over a double. So I, you know, I was asked to, well, why would I take this trade? Well, first of all, this was in the pre-market. So this was the after hours action for ClearSide. Uh, this is the pre-market. So it was already on my radar. Okay. That's why, you know, that's why it's important to do some pre-market work. So you can check out the ones that uh, look like they could, you know, start to run once the market opens or be at least active once the market opens. So got into this one. Now, again, when did I get into it? 1369. Let me make sure about this. Yes. Yeah, so I did get in, into this one on the first candle. Second day in a row that I've taken a trade on the opening 15 minute candle. I don't typically do that, but for some of the cheaper ones that really look like they're going to run, you know, and have been in play, I will do that. It's it's the more expensive ones that maybe even have earnings that in the first 15 minutes, you know, they can be up and down before they settle down. Anyway, bottom line is, is that I took this trade at uh, 1369. Um, boy, got out some at uh, over the whole number at 1409. This was just a great opening trade. Basically set the tone for the whole day for me. 14.33. That's yeah, close enough. And 14.20. So all out of this trade. But you know, it's funny. Watching it again. Because if it, uh, you know, it's teasing us right here at 15. Now it's pulling back again. It is teasing us at, at that 15 mark. I keep saying that I'm going to take it later on if it, if it does break through 15. Take a look at the daily. You know, you saw this, but look at this. <laughs> this is the true picture of what could be happening. So, I mean, this has had a tremendous uh, three or four days, but look at the potential void fill. Uh, you know, it still has maybe $10. I'm not saying it's going to get there, but I mean, that's what we like to see. When we talk about looking left on a daily chart, you like to see all this, which is nothing because there's no, there's no real resistance on the chart. I say in the room all the time, if this action were right up here, this would not nearly be as intriguing, obviously. So this is what you should be looking for on a daily chart. Not, you know, they're not all going to be quite this dramatic, but this is certainly why we're all interested in this one. So that was the um, Z, the CLSD. Now, I was <laughs> crying in my soup a little bit because I had said in the pre-market that this is one that we should watch, the ZSAN. Again, why? It was, you know, it, it's had a lot of activity. You know, over the last uh, few days, it's been pretty choppy had a nice day yesterday and i and i said you know if it takes out 11 which is the high right there this could be very interesting now i was i was getting and i don't think i had been i was not involved in the uh, clear side yet this was a sort of an opening trade that a lot of people took and i you know unfortunately i did not get into this one however luckily you know again if you're wondering why i take this trade 
anything that is active is probably going to deserve a thumbnail on on my uh, on my uh, monitor so this was always going to be thumbnailed okay so the minute it broke 11 the minute it broke 11 i of course was interested i had an alert set right right at 11 got into the trade at 11:26 it moved pretty quickly but look what it did second here So it took approximately right there, and look what it did. I mean, these are you know 15-minute candles, but this happened so quickly, 11:22 all the way up to 12:91. I'd love to say that I sold, you know, got I got out right at the top. Not exactly, but still, I actually took some off uh, almost immediately at 11:61, just in case. I always like to, you know, take some profit if something is going to pop that quickly for me. I usually always take some profit and don't ask me if I take 25% off or 10% or half it really really depends you know uh, you know a lot of different factors for me a lot of it is just kind of feel so anyway I took a, I took some off here and then look at the pop it had and I got out um, just almost a dollar I was at 1225 when I say a dollar I almost made a dollar on the um, and then it moved up and then before it uh, it co basically collapsed. I I sold the rest, so I did make a, over a dollar in that trade. So those are two excellent, excellent trades. Uh, of course, Zetsan only has 1.95 million shares in the float. That is why you get those those uh, moves. CL uh, clear side a little bit more, 20 million in the float, but I mean still very, very, uh, very good, uh, very low float situation. Now I am. Let's see. What am I looking at here? I'm still in this one. Um, Ross T. So I have sold some. I ha I have covered some of the Ross T. But you know what what was happening is take a look at the retail ETF. This is one of the sorry, that's XL uh, X uh, sorry XRT. So ross t and urban and a few of these other stocks they were all down you know on earnings and all of a sudden the retail etf just caught on fire these are 50 minute candles so for one hour you know virtually uh, most of the retailers were just moving up and then look what happened you know started to move down so when you look at ross t ross t uh, my guess is going to mimic pretty much see what happened as the retail sector even though this was down for the day on earnings so why did I see this in the first place it was an earnings play so again do your pre-market work I you know this was recognized as an earnings play so it had it was going to be followed watch this happen and then as the retail sector started to uh, move down looking at this VWAP here that purple line right there and I ended up taking the trade just underneath it is about 75.63 right here and I'm probably going to get out now I, I I covered some down in this area here I think it was 75.33 but you know now we're beholden to to the to the sector um, when I say that let's see what XLF is doing it, or it, I don't want to say that XRT is doing yeah, you see what's happening it's putting a little pop so it's affecting a lot of the retail uh, trade so probably going to get out uh, again a minute 63 on the, the short so if it gets back up there I'll cover my position and you know that that's it I mean you know this was a real I, I also took this one didn't do as well as I wanted to on this but uh, I noticed it just popped right back. This is an all-time high uh, Mongo database. Ended up taking this. Uh, this came on my evening scan. It was one of the ones that was up uh, most for the day. So that's where I was alerted to it. Uh, decided to, it was a bit of a chase. I took the trade right about here, actually. It was about 40, 38 or so. Actually, it was 41. Sold some up here. And then, of course, as it moved down, I got out. Now it's right back up. But, I mean, I'm not, that's not a wonderful trade. But I just, it was just one that intrigued me. All-time high, lifetime high and all. And that is, let's see. I think that's about it. 
Yeah, that is about it. So I want to get back into the room. So hopefully I explained, you know, the reason why I took most of those trades, what I was looking for. Very important to do some pre-market work. You can identify some of the stocks that, you know, potentially, of course, if they're earnings plays or have news, probably going to be active all day. And that, that that's, you know, those are the ones you want to follow. All right, everybody. Let me uh, bring back the capture program. And just to give you uh, or let you know again, this is how you can get a hold of me. There's the email address. There's a link for the free trading room. There's a subscription link, instant 15% promo code there. Uh, again, if you take out an annual subscription, it'd be 15% for the year. Uh, if you take out a monthly, the 15% is good for the first month only. All right. And I'll open the room tomorrow at about 9 o'clock Eastern time. That's when I'll start to share my screen. I'll get live on the mic at 9.05. So I hope everybody has a great evening and we'll see you in the trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.